just remembered something I need to do. You cats again. Just so, so great. You look good, Psy King. Let's face facts, guys. It's not going to work unless we get the whole band back together. Well, we need sniffles and tasty. Excited about getting the band back together, Vision? I will be as soon as we get tasty and sniffles back. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, they'll be here. You want me to drive? I don't want to brag, but uh, I've got uh, eyes. Good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. I can't remember. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Where are we going? Good idea. Let's look here. Maybe I should just take a nap. Yes! Got the duffel bag.
sound hungry. I feel bad about cutting in line, but I'm on a mission. I fell into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. You guys let me take a look. I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I'm a little afraid of this one. Why? Because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. <laughs> Back in your mouth, Tasty. It's one of those double decker buses. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Yep. So many people eat without really tasting. Such a shame. Things are telling me not to hold this thing too long. <laughs>
Oh, God, it's my own sweat. Hey, hey, don't. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh, God. Now I can taste it. Oh, I... about. smells. Smell. 
That's a good sign. Can you taste the sky? Oh, I gotta say, Sai King, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's low At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started healing Again. I know her from Lobato's nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Universe, please shut up. There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light. You're a helmet full bear. Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. This was my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. Hmm. 
You okay? So far. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. 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 Bobby's dead because of me. You okay? So far. You were going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Full Bear, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So Maligula used to be your friend? And her name was Lucy? <sighs> Was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia Mux? But she went bad somehow and then you all had to go fight your friend? I liked not remembering stuff. I'm learning a lot. You guys! I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, Fool Bear. But my stupid Hyper High Glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it, uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we duck. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little cracked to begin with. My body's been in hyper-ice all this time. I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. 
Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your strawberry, Zanato. your body yet, Forbear, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ, and come back for the rest of you. It's after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay, I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome. Helmet Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one. And now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But... Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at curtain call! Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away! Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller. Yes? Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, 
We brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? <laughs> This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you're courted, the feelings must get sorted. <laughs> <laughs> 